They just pump <laughs> and dump, man. That's all they do with those coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. You uh, see what happened recently, like with the uh, the coin for some of the the phase guys. Yeah, I was going to talk about that too. That was the other thing. Uh, People have been asking what I think about that. And I'm just like, dude, the three guys that got suspended, I think those guys should have kicked too. It's messed up. Yeah. What exactly happened? I was out of the loop on that. (sighs) Sam might know more in detail. Like, I kind of skimmed through it, you know? Yeah. But basically, what happened is uh, some phase members, I think it was phase K, phase Jarvis, and I think Summer Ray was in Rice Gum, but the big guys were phase K and phase Jarvis. They basically were uh, marketing an altcoin. It was called the Save the Kids coin. So mm-hmm. it was very much marketed as, hey, if you buy in and as this goes up, like profits, whatever, it's all benefiting kids. So it's yeah. very much like a charity coin. And they were like on all their socials promoting it. Hey, Pump like if up. you get in now, we'll give you um, like we'll double your amount that you have. And then somebody did some investigation on the back end because the wallets are public. And they saw that these people, upon receiving their share of the coins, like immediately sold it. In other words, like they never believed in this coin. They always thought it was shit. They just wanted to pump it up, but they yeah. didn't want any part. Of it. So basically, they like marketed it to everybody, got it to go up like a classic pump and dump. But they were never in it to begin with. Like they never believed in the asset that they were promoting. And like they, they basically robbed people in a lot of ways because like none of the profits then went to the Save the Kids yeah. stuff. They just like completely made a fool of themselves. So now they're not only are they being sort of like uh, publicly ostracized, but now people almost want them to be like legally tried in some oh, ways. It's going to happen. Manipulating coins. It's just like that market is kind of unregulated. So there is no proper way to go about those lawsuits, but they definitely are in like some deep shit right now. I feel like it can kind of be bended as like an insider trading thing, you know? And I mean, those, I mean, they go after you for like big money. So. Isn't that I what think, happened with like the Valorant? Uh, no, CS Go skins. Isn't that yeah, what happened back in the there day? Was, the same exact thing. There was some like Wait, it was it was like a it was like a CS Go <laughs> slot website, and people were promoting it, but it it was a big streamer who actually like owned stake in it, and so Isn't he, it T. he Martin. I, it might have been, it but it was literally like rigged. So like he's winning all this yeah. stuff and he's like, dude, this is like, I'm making money. You know, like, I, like I'm never gonna have to pay for a video game again. You know, like it's all Steam credit or whatever. Um, and mm-hmm. all these people put their money into it and just lose it all, you know, thinking yeah. that they're gonna get all this Steam credit out of it. And so it was a big lawsuit. The shit like that. The co-owner or whatever of it. And he and... got, he got kicked out of like a big, uh, I think it was like a big gaming entertainment company. I can't remember what it was. A bunch of stuff happened because it it was basically it was just it was just an ad and but it would have been fine if he would have like all he had to say at the beginning was hey i have an affiliation with this website i own this etc but he didn't say that so he would roll Mm -hmm. the the thing and he would get like three gold you know five hundred dollar skins and you're like oh holy cow this is crazy this website is incredible and then he turns the recording off and then you know he's profiting all this money by promoting his own website as this thing that he just so happened to find online so yeah i mean it's kind of like the slots thing uh on, on on twitch i don't know if you guys have been following any of that i'm surprised it doesn't get talked about more i think the uh hot tub meta and the asmr meta kind of took over the the drama a lot what is, what is this slots Heavy slot drama so they so i mean you see xqc aiden ross the train wreck crew all of them playing slots And I mean, they're playing with big money. They'll put in like 100K and they'll just sit there for like eight hours playing slots. And they're like, oh my gosh, I'm making so much money or they're losing a bunch of money, you know. Uh, I I sat there while I was editing one time, watch XQC do it for four hours. It's it's just, it's entertaining. I mean, you're watching somebody mess with real money. You know, it's all crypto. So that's how they get around doing it in the US is because it's it's crypto. It's not US dollars. Um, So it's in a gray area. So I'm curious to see if they like, come out with some law saying that even crypto you know you can't do that in the u.s um but i mean even then xqc just moved back to canada because of all the swatting stuff he said, i don't know if you guys saw that he said he was getting swatted like no. every day he just wasn't talking about it wow um yeah and his dad too or something like was getting swatted so um yeah, yeah. but that's something i'm worried about too swatting i i live on a military base though so it's like kind of a little bit harder for people to do shit like that but yeah, yeah that's a scary I mean, reality. I've I've had the discussion with my wife. Uh there, there's somebody who's been like threatening to dox me recently, some kid. Um and 
you know i mean it's not much you can do but i live in a gated community so it's and, and once yeah. we buy a house i plan on <laughs> buying one in a gated community too so not anybody can just stroll up but you know if if somebody swats me i've already reported stuff to the local police department and stuff so if somebody tries to swap me it gets generated as a, a police report saying hey this guy's a streamer he's had threats this and that you know they threatened to swat him and so hopefully that's the difference between a swat team showing up and like a couple officers knocking on the door saying hey you know we know you're a streamer and this and that so is everything all right can yeah. we look around you know so hopefully that works out um but i mean there's nothing you can do about it man it's just yeah. bound to happen if you continue to grow and that's just shitters man <laughs> like well, it's really be careful. It. isn't it punishable up to like 10 years in prison now if you dock oh, yeah. slash lead to a swatting yeah the thing is though is uh it, it i feel like people who do that stuff go go they're smart enough to go through the trouble to make sure they can't be traced and so mm. like it, you can report it to the authorities it might get forwarded to the fbi but if it's if it's you know it happens so much to streamers and stuff that it's like, is it really worth the FBI's money to, to go find some some 20-year-old kid sitting in his basement going, hey, hey, hey I'm going to swat this guy, you know? Like, is it really worth it to them? Taxpayer yeah. dollars? I think it really depends on the severity of the situation. Like, I feel like if somebody were to get killed in the process, then that would be like That's... really where they they start looking into it. But if it's just like a procedural like type, yeah. like, you know, people come check in the door or whatever. I mean, like, I've, t- I've told my wife, like, you, you know, you just cooperate don't say anything don't argue you know you just say like my husband's upstairs streaming you know and then they come in and it's like, all right you know then we talk they look around yeah. it's the end of it the only time people have died is when they they you know acted delirious or like they were drunk or didn't know what was going on and yeah. you know it, it's just you know act calm don't make sudden movements you know stuff like that it's just it's like getting pulled over yeah five so. subs and all Act like a fucking idiot right now. <laughs> <laughs>